What's up, Dice Crew? Now look, we got this clip. I'ma run it for y'all, and I'ma keep it a Benji for y'all doing the reaction. Y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. But we got Loose Cannon, and we got King Yella going at it. Let's tune in. Shout out to the Dice Crew. What you talking about? God counts, burners! Hey, Flocka, and hey, Luce, I heard what you said, too. I wasn't on the phone, too. They said you were sneak dissing me while I wasn't on the phone, man. Nigga, I just said, this, nigga, nobody can save anybody. This is the West Coast, nigga. Man, oh, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Hey, I've been, like, hey, been on the West Coast. I've been on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah but nigga, you still a visitor. Jack? So you have to understand that. I ain't no visitor shit, nigga. Nigga, you a visitor. Nigga, I'm dead. I'm going to smash that plane. Get off of here, boy. Before you do something. I ain't 600, nigga. I was gone. I ain't 600, nigga, on neighborhood crib, nigga. Now, you know, that caught my attention, too. Like, I don't know why Luz Cannon chose to say, like, he not 600. You know, Luz Cannon and 600 both claim to, like, come from the same black uh, background, same, you know, area and whatnot. If y'all know, then y'all know. But maybe Luz Cannon was letting him know, like, because I guess King Yella had an issue with 600 the other day, and King Yella started playing, or they had, a, like, a verbal, or whatever the case may be. So maybe Luz Cannon telling him, like, you know, I ain't gonna just keep it content. I'm serious about it, you know? But let's continue. Well, nigga, I'm in Vegas on Neighborhood Crip, nigga. I will be back. Right, 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 You talking about? God, you Hey, Flocka, and Luce, I heard what you said, too. I wasn't on the phone, too. They said you were sneak dissing me while I wasn't on the phone, man. Nigga, I just said, man, nigga, nobody can save anybody. This is the West Coast, nigga. Man, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Hey, I've been on the West Coast. Yeah, but, nigga, you still a visitor. So you have to understand that. I ain't no visitor shit, nigga. Nigga, you a visitor, nigga. I'm dead. I'm gonna smash that plane. Get off of here, boy. Before you do something. I ain't sick, Tony, nigga. I was gone. I ain't sick, Tony, nigga, on neighborhood crib, nigga. I ain't too bad. We ain't got a phone. We can link. We ain't got a phone, nigga. You better stop playing. I'm in Vegas, bitch. Nigga, I'm in Vegas on neighborhood crib, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not know. I ain't never been. Don't play with me, nigga. I will not Never. Dick, I never saw you nowhere. Nigga, I'm always outside, bitch. Nigga, keep playing, nigga. You a yo, dog hey, today. Hey, yo, this was crazy. You a uh, dog today, nigga. Hey, Luce. Now, if you familiar with Luce Cannon on this internet, you know he definitely do his thing as far as creating good content to keep people intrigued and entertained. Now, I don't know if he's being serious or if he's just being, you know, doing content. But he definitely saying some wild things on this internet. Again, I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or he actually is upset and he's just kind of like losing his cool, you know? But he definitely saying some wild things on the internet, man. And let's see. Now, King Yetta said that you keep saying something about the C's and I be with a hundred B's every day. And it's like, I don't know if it's true or not, but I don't really respect that, right? Because now it's like King Yella is inserting himself in other politics. You know, you do the whole vice lord, disciple, you know, Chicago politics and everything that shares some of the similar politics from Chicago, whether it's Texas, Memphis, other low individual uh, places, no disrespect to other issue, uh, uh, such cities, New York, whatever. But when you sit here talking about you be with a hundred bloods, because a person keeps saying on crib, I feel like you inserting yourself in a situation and making it something that it's not. Like, I feel like King Yella, he should have just said what he said, kept the situation based upon them. Like, you know, it could be kind of considered as like instigating, and it also can make you be viewed as a goofy. Because if you come from Los Angeles, then you know like, just because a person is a crib, or just because a person is a blood, that don't necessarily mean that they gonna be just uh, eager to have a problem with one of another, you know? 
you got a lot of circles out here. You got a lot of crews, a lot of people who have had dealings with each other, got a pass with each other. Like, it's a little bit different, you know? Kind of like it is in Chicago, you know? A lot of people say it's a big old BD versus GD situation. Some people say a lot of GDs and BDs still rock with each other. So, you know, that's just how it go. But to me, I view that kind of strange, you know? I don't think he should have tried to, like, instigate that situation like that and try to, like, add on, like, some fuel to that. Like, trying to act like, you know, oh, I be with Bloods. So now you paint this narrative, like, back on some, like, Crip versus Blood type stuff when it's like he just represented where he come from. Loose Canada's just representing the Crips because that's what he said he is. You supposed to keep representing what you are. You ain't got to, like, because then what? Like, what if Loose Cannon would have said F the Bloods or something like that? Now you done created this situation, which could have been good, smart, mentally, art of war, however Loose Cannon, I mean, uh, King Yeller might have wanted to view it. But I look at it like that was kind of, like, strange a little bit. And it's even more weird if you don't be with a 100 bees. And it's also weird if them 100 bees ain't willing to crash out on another crib for you or loose cannon then it's like you just speaking on stuff trying to seem like you more connected somewhere than you are you know like i don't know that was strange what y'all think about that this nigga fuck is you talking about fuck, you know fuck is you talking about nigga i know, I know niggas everybody, yeah, everybody. that mean it mean a lot nigga you talking about neighborhood everybody what that mean? That? If, if they from Athens, they'll tell you and see, everybody on the panel is telling him, like, yeah, that don't mean nothing. Wack is telling him that. That's a dude that go by the name of Big Chuck from Death of a Cloud Chaser. He telling them that, like, that don't mean nothing. And that's just the truth, you know? Like, why you don't push a line with your backing? Like, you know, you a GD. You should say, okay, you a neighborhood crib. I'm a GD, you know, or whatever you claim to be. You know, I operate and I run with these individuals. These who I run with. And if you saying you from here, what that don't mean nothing to us. You supposed to be saying that. You saying you from neighborhood crib. That don't move the GDs. That's how you're supposed to conduct yourself on that. To me, you know, you weren't supposed to bring up some other individuals like, yeah, I be with this, that, and the third. Unless you was bringing that up to precisely let loose cannon know and other crips know, like, yeah. I really don't rock with no Crips anyway because I be with some people who anti the Crips anyway. You know, if you on that type of time, then I guess it do make sense if that's your point. You know what I'm saying? Like, or maybe you trying to make it seem like, oh, you know, I could uh, get into it with you uh, easier than what you assume because I'm tied in the individuals who your direct ops in certain type of ways, whatever. I don't know, but let's continue. We from it's a whole lot of mixed crowds, bro. Hey, listen, I know you, but he's talking because he's talking about the West Coast, nigga. I've been on the West Coast since 2000, nigga. Well, what, what I'm saying is that was y'all think because I'm from Chicago, nigga. My mama been in Cali since 2000, nigga. Shout out to Kid O'Curry, Shy Town State. What the fuck you talking about? Shy Town State. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm back up here, nigga. Where you at, nigga? I'm in hey, Vegas, kid, nigga. Where you at, nigga? Oh, easy. Meet me Stop at the Durango playing. right yeah. now. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. You, you, you ain't do, on Durango? I'm talking about nigga, all that yo, smoking, nigga. You on Durango, 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 Durango right now. Durango right now. Durango, 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 Durango right now. Who's Cam Durango, 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 you police ass, nigga. Hey, what? Well, you know I'm on Durango right now. Me and the apartment, I got here, man. You on Durango right now. Nigga, do a call and ain't never got a cannon. Cannon, 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 yo, cannon. Yo, man, you ain't gonna crash, nigga. said F the GDs, I'm from West Side 60s. He took it there, but he still kept it all around the board based upon the topic at hand, not the topic at hand, but based upon the individual who's having that situation. He said, I'm from 60s, and F where you come from. 
you know, King Yella, and I ain't saying he had to, but he didn't even have enough heart or courage or stupidity or however you word it to say F the Crips or the Rolling Sixties. But you, you know, you let a dude disrespect where you come from. But then you brought up the bloods and all that, like you was trying to carry some type of volume, or, uh, value of weight or whatever that is with that. But it's like now, dude, on there dissing where you come from. I ain't saying that he got to disrespect the 60s. I don't think that Loose Cannon should have disrespected all the GDs just behind King Yella. King Yella do what King Yella do. He ain't just like the face or the voice of the GDs. Could be one of them, you know. That's just how it go. But GD is bigger than just his block. GD is just bigger than King Yella hood. King Yella is bigger than his city. You know what I'm saying? It's bigger than the GDs in his state. So to me, I wouldn't say that. But King uh, Louis Cannon can go about it however he wants to. If that's how he really feels, then hey, do what you want to do. That's his prerogative, you know? I wouldn't have done it. So maybe it was smart on behalf of King Yella to not turn around and disrespect the 60s or whatever, you know? But this was a weird situation. It was real heated, though. Let's continue. Hey, you loose, boy. Look at that shit, Look at the rat crew together. Look at the rat crew over there. King Tiller snitching from the nine. Wait, 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 wait. King Tiller snitching from the nine. Nigga, you ain't my Airbnbs, nigga. King Tiller snitching from the nine. Hold on. Hold on, nigga. Oh, yeah. I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out, nigga. Hey, you niggas weren't tough in the interrogation room. Yeah. Why you niggas weren't tough in the interrogation room, nigga? Now, if y'all don't get what they saying in the background, talking about why y'all wasn't tough in the interrogation room, that's because Flacco was on here having a disagreement with a guy that go by the name of Skinny from the Nine. Skinny from the Nine sold an Instagram page to Flacco. They had a business degree, uh, agreement, whatever. Flacco stopped trying to keep up with the payments because he said he started losing followers and stuff in the drop of a hat so he felt like the instagram page was fake you know what i mean and also they saying that king yellow well it was some videos surfacing around in the integration room with skinny from the nine and king yellow so people was looking so you know this is why they saying both of them is rats you know they both on here kind of yelling being disrespectful act, you know acting how they acting so people in the on the panel was calling both of them rats and y'all hear that in the background just giving y'all a little you know Background story. I do it on purpose, though. When Skinny's move got people involved, though. I'm gonna fuck up some You a bitch, nigga. Stop it, stop it. 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 Both of y'all niggas, long nigga. tail rats. Nigga, who you think you're talking to, nigga? A long tail. Look at nigga, him. Nigga, nigga, hey, nigga. Like I clip y'all niggas. Nigga, 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 nigga. That's them long. Loose Cannon, once again. I ain't 600. Once again. He said some things that he probably shouldn't be saying on the internet. Or public side. Pub, he shouldn't be public sizing anyway. But again... Maybe Loose Cannon is doing real content. He's just acting. Might not really mean what he's saying. Or maybe he's upset and he just really mean business. Who knows? Let's continue. Tell y'all boys right there. They've been telling them. Nigga, you bitch ass nigga. Hey, Skinny, you ain't got no money. 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 Now get it back in blood, nigga. You ain't finna be pressing flock yeah, on you. Ain't getting that shit too, nigga. That shit too, nigga. nigga. That yeah, shit too. I had a hell of an idea. I was gonna make you offer you couldn't refuse. Mm. And Skinny started calling you something weird. So now yeah. I can't even offer it to you. It's over with. Get it back in blood. Bitch ass niggas, bro. Flock on the page is yours. I know the ring goes. I'm the on the ring last night. I'm thinking we finna have to get out with these Chicago niggas. I can tell the Chicago niggas, right? They got the, the little Chicago hats on. They like, what? I said, what's up, homie? Loose them, stop. Hey, homie, we heard the YouTube. King Yellow don't speak for us. Facts. Damn. That's a big fact. I swear Look, to God. I don't know why 
Skinny even got that nigga involved in the first place. Bro, like, he ain't gonna two brown ass niggas in the game when I was no. a No, hey, hey, Unc, you know it's up for life now. I mean, you yeah, that's what it is. I don't know why he did that. I'm gonna tell you what I was about to do. I was gonna hey, say, Flaco, hey, yeah. this is what I was about to do. I was yeah. gonna say, look, Flaco, me and Lou's gonna come party with you on the page. We're gonna give you some of your bread back. And then we'll go ahead, let's go ahead on and pay the nigga. We'll just split the little 1500 three ways and we all work it and do what we do. You see, right there, you see? You see right there, bro? Cause, yeah, because hey, that would have been a good. Like, bro, for the, I swear to God, I swear to God. Hey, Wack, it's That's good thing you didn't because that nigga was capping, bro. Trust me, bro. But out of nowhere, Anytime he started talking, talking about, about Indians Michael, and shit like that, bro, I yeah. see, that shit fake. He's like yeah. King Yellow persuading him to say that. I don't even think of like, whatever he said to Flacco, whatever he was saying, yeah. that was King Yellow on the side telling him to say that, bro. And, 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 and play this. I'm listening. I'm like, I'm listening. I'm looking at the page, though. Yeah. Indian shit. Yeah. Blocker, let me tell you what they did. All that's cap. Oh, wow. No, look. Look. Yeah. I'm going to go screen record it for you so you can see it. This, the reason why he, they know people going to see the Indian stuff. Yeah. So he sends you here, right? Yeah. He sends. All right, so that was pretty much the wrap up for that clip, right? And also, I'm going to say this, right? It definitely did look like uh, Loose Cannon had pulled up somewhere that looked like the same background, possibly, of where King Yellow and them was at. I don't know if it was real, true, false. I don't know if they all in on it for content. I don't know if he pulled up to the exact same location. Loose Cannon had jumped into Bentley, pulled up. He seemed like he was wearing that same location. They wasn't nowhere to be uh, in sight. I don't know. I don't know, though. But it looked like it. You know what I mean? Who knows? We're going to see what happens in the future. But shout out to the content and everybody that was tuning in. Shout out to everybody who was tuning in to give us the content. Shout out to the Dice crew. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments. Keep it a binge for me. Don't forget, to hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe for me. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Shout out to the Dice crew. I'm out.